My name's Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. We're the number one Class B RV dealer in the state of Florida. We're number three in the whole United States of America. That's very, very cool. Every time I say it, I'm astonished that we sell more Class Bs than anybody else in the Sunshine State. But what's very cool, because we sell a lot of these vans, we get to get stuff before anybody else. We get to get RVs that just came out in the very beginning. Within days of their release, we get them here in Gainesville. So I love vans, I love Class B RVs. What is behind me is a little bigger than a Class B RV, not much, but it's a little bigger. This is the long awaited for, the, the unicorn, of the RV industry. This is the 2024 Winnebago Echo, but it's a little different. The front end's a little different than all the other, other Echoes you've seen for the last two years. This is on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. So this is the 23B, as in, I don't know what the B stands for, maybe it's the second iteration of it. 23A was the other one. This is the 23B. I'm not quite sure, but this is the 23B. This is the Echo that is on the Sprinter chassis. It is all wheel drive. It is about 18 inches longer than the Transit Echo, uh, which gives you some awesome space. But even at 18 inches longer, it's only 24 feet, six inches. That's the same length as an extended Sprinter. So it's no bigger than a van, a little wider, a little taller, but we're talking inches. We're not talking feet. So if you've been looking for a van, then if maybe a van is just a little too small for you, or if you want something with the, that's, that's a little more unique, Winnebago is known for making very unique, very versatile Class Bs, B pluses, small Cs, I don't know what you call them, but Winnebago has made this Echo. When they made the first Echo a couple years ago, they hit a grand slam with it. It was one of the hardest vans to get through COVID, which every van was hard to get, but even after COVID, for the last two years, it has been one of the hardest vans to get your hands on. So I just got this in yesterday, and since I've had it, I've spent half the day in it, playing with it, testing everything, checking out how it feels, how it flows, and I think it's very, very impressive. So we are here in Gainesville. We have a Sprinter Echo. This one is for sale. I'm gonna have it here for a little bit so people can see it and get a feel for it. But I think after watching this video, you are gonna see why the Echo is one of the top selling B pluses, Class Cs in the entire RV industry. So check this video out, walk through. I'm gonna do a full extensive walk through on everything on this Echo right now. So we're gonna go through the entire outside of the Echo. I'm gonna show you all of the cool stuff. So it is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. So what's new for Mercedes Sprinter? So the Mercedes Sprinter starting this year is on a four cylinder chassis. They took it down from a six cylinder down to a four cylinder. But that might sound a little scary if you're talking about an RV and towing stuff and all that. But what's cool is there's more horsepower, more torque and better gas mileage. How they did that, I don't know, but they did kind of like cryptocurrency, like how is that money? I don't know, but it is, right? Like I have no idea how this stuff works. How do you go from a six cylinder to a four cylinder and get more horsepower? Those engineers in Germany who are designing this Mercedes, they know how to do it. So it does get better gas mileage, which is very cool. And they went from a four wheel drive down to an all wheel drive, not down, over. They changed it to an all wheel drive, which is great because it's always available for you. You don't have to stop put it in neutral, press a button, then put it in drive. When you need it, all the wheels will spin. When you don't need it, only the rear wheels will spin. So it's it's uh, it's very cool how, how they are flexible with being all wheel drive versus a four wheel drive. So those are two big improvements on the chassis. So if you notice here, these are the high performance Mercedes headlights. So these headlights are very bright. They can go brighter, they can go down, they go up, they go down. They kind of turn with you a little bit. Um, what's neat about these Echoes? So there's a lot of people in the country that have become very good at upfitting and modifying the Sprinter chassis. So I like that they, they give you a clean slate. 
from this clean slate, you can do whatever it is you want to do with this Echo. So you can enhance the bumper. You can take this bumper off and put a backwoods bumper on. You can add, they have these little bumper addition things you can add right here that have LED lights on them. They have winches you can put in here. All kinds of really cool things. But if you just want to keep it the way it is, there's nothing wrong with that too. This is a sharp looking van. You know, Winnebago is really known for making very unique things that nobody else is making. There's not a competitor to this on the market. There's not. Like we sell a ton of bees. I love Coachman Class Bees. Coachman Class B does not make something like this. I love Road Treks. Road Trek does not make something like this. There is not a competitor to this Echo. There's no slides, 24 feet, six inches, all wheel drive. And when you see the inside, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. There's nothing even close. So this is on the all wheel drive chassis. So you do have added clearance. So this does give you extra clearance. That way when you're off, we're not really in the woods right now, even though it might look like we're in the woods. We're in a church parking lot. But when you're in the woods and you're in the mud, wherever you're at, this is gonna give you the extra clearance to get where you wanna get. Um, I like the black method wheels, lots of options there. These are like a more of an all-terrain tire. It does drive really well. Um, Winnebago does a great job with their running boards. They always have the little fancy W's everywhere. It's kind of like finding where's Waldo, you know, like everywhere on this van, you're gonna see, and I keep calling it a van, I guess it's a van. Everywhere on this van, you're gonna see that W somewhere. They are very proud of their W. So nice running boards as we're walking, lots of compartments here. Let's see if I can get this one open. Am I smart enough to do this? There we go. So we're gonna start off with the power system. So on a traditional van, you don't have exterior compartments like this. On this 24 foot, six inches, that's all, that's what, it, uh, that's the same size as a Sprinter van. So the same size, they have, you have a 320 amp hour lithionics battery, but what else is cool is you have a Oh, that's not it. This is it right here. You have an Onan generator. So in my opinion, whatever that is worth, you have a generator and a lithium battery. That is the best of both worlds. You wanna know what's even better than this? Two lithium batteries and an Onan generator. So we can easily add another 320 amp hour lithionics battery here, put it in there, and now you have 640 amp hours of lithium batteries and you have an Onan generator. So the way it comes is with one. Now Winnebago has an option to get rid of the generator and add the other one. In my personal opinion, I like the idea of having both. I like it. I think it's a great, especially if you want to go off and do things. You know, the lithium batteries, they charge when you're driving, they charge by solar, they charge when you're plugged into shore power, and they charge when your generator's on. So now you have an extra way of charging that lithium battery. You have extra capacity so you can run everything in the coach you want for hours with the extra battery. So even with just this, this is gonna give you your fridge for days, every light for days, everything in there. One lithium battery probably won't run your air conditioner or your microwave, but that's why you have your generator or you have shore power. So lots of different th ways that you can do it, but I love this setup. I think this is, ideal to have both you know coachman's starting to do it as well they're starting to put their onan generator with a lithium battery so i think people are catching on to the idea that hey i want to i like having a ton of lithium but i like having both options so that's just my opinion you do have some plumbing in here this does have a cassette toilet so i'm assuming a lot of people know what that means but for those that don't this is under your toilet when you go to the bathroom and you flush it it goes into here number one and number two in here. Now, this is brand new, so there's no number one or number two in here, but this is where number one and number two goes. So you would get to where you're going and you will slide it out, probably put some gloves on, and you will walk the dog to wherever you're dumping it. And you will then open this like this, unscrew this like this, and then dump it in the toilet, Dump it somewhere and when you're done, hopefully with gloves on, without a big mess, you slide it back, slide it back, and put it right back in. There you go, easy as that. So they do make stuff that you can put in there um, that solidifies it, 
that uh, turns it into powder, that turns it a bat. Like there are things you can use to simplify that process. To me, that was pretty simple. Like that didn't require a lot of work. Now, do I want to get stuff on my hands? No, I'd put gloves on. I'd walk to where I'm going, dump it, rinse it, and then put it right back. So cassette toilet is a good option. It's not just, I mean, it is easier, but when, when you're camping and there's no black tanks, this is a great option for dumping things. So lithium, plumbing, Onan generator, lots of space, 30 amp plug. So this 30 amp plug right here, you know, one of the cool things about buying from Sunshine State RVs, and I always put this plug in right now, is that we teach you how to use your van. So we'll teach you about the lithium, we'll teach you how to dump it, we'll teach you all about your generator, how to service it, how to maintain it, how to use it. We'll teach you about all of that. We also teach you that one of the most important things when you get to a campground, is to plug in and make sure your plug is secure and make sure it's also secure on the other side so you don't have any arcing issues back and forth. You know, Corey, Robert, Justin, Matt, we got four guys that give people walkthroughs and teach you how to use your RVs when you're at our dealership. So if you come into Gainesville, we will fly you here. You pick out your van. We teach you how to use it, take as much time with you as you want. Then we put you up at a campground for two nights. So that way you can test everything you learned for those first two nights. And if you have any issues, anything doesn't work or you forgot it, you come right back and we get you in right away and get you squared away. So lots of cool benefits from buying from Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville. We also guarantee a service appointment within five days. That's unheard of. Guarantee you a service appointment within five days, no matter where you're at, no matter what your issue is. So as we talk about storage, I am talking about Man, these are, I am, oh, there we go. I am struggling today. So we're not at storage yet. So this is your water system. So this is inside the van, which is nice. Um, this Echo also has added insulation. So that way you, it extends your camping seasons. They call it a four seasons coach. Um, winter, spring, summer, fall. Those are the four seasons. Here in Gainesville, Florida, we have a two week long spring, a one week long winter, and then a, 10 and a half months summer. So those are the only seasons we have, but I'm sure all over the country, you have lots of other seasons. Um, this is your whole system here. So this is your outside shower. So if you did make a mess in your cassette, you would grab it, you would rinse it here. This is where you fill, this is where you dump, this is where you sanitize, this is where you winterize, it, everything is here. And Winnebago does a great job of giving you a, a, a how-to Winnebago app, or how to echo. So they teach you all of that in these quick one minute long videos. They do a great job when you're on the road. Okay, so now this is probably the coolest part of the outside of this van. This is where you get your 18 inches. So this is 18 inches longer than the Ford Transit Echo. And this is where you're gonna get most of it right here. I mean, check this out. It goes from here, then it goes here, then it goes here. Peekaboo, right? So all of this storage, you can access it from all three areas, depending on how big, whatever you're sliding, is it a table, is it bikes, is it a one wheel, is it a uh, scooters, uh, paddle boards, surfboards, whatever you have that's making you want to take this thing to this beautiful country and travel everywhere, this area is what's meant to store it. You know, the guy filming me right now, I asked him the other day, what do you want to do? He told me he wants to go to Utah and film some cool stuff. He has a one wheel. You can put the one wheel here. You can put all your camera equipment. This is, this is heated. There's plugs here. You can store, this is waterproof. This is safe. This is lockable. You can store everything you need in this area. Tim, would you store stuff in here? Perfect. He said, yes. Give me a thumbs up. See, this is where you can store drones, anything you can imagine. This is what this is for. And I love, I love that they gave you that little extra space so you can have all this extra storage. So there's a 110 plug here, 110 plug there. There are lights on both sides. There's a heater port out here. So you do have some heat. And this is like very durable. There's stuff here that you can hook to. This whole, I mean, there's stuff here you can hook to. There's stuff here. They have these grommets, right? Check this out. Save so and give them to you. So these grommets here, they can go just like this. And they go right in here like this. And then you can hang stuff from it. <laughs> I know you can do it. I just, 
There, like that. Uh, maybe like this, like that. Something. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're in. See, so you can hang and they give you a bunch of, you can put them down here. You can hang stuff, tie stuff, secure it, strap it. But not only that, they also give you this extra area right here. So that way they don't waste the doors. I love it that they don't waste any space. So here you can strap things too. You can also install more of this here if you want, but right here you can straight, you can get bungee cords. And if you have, I don't know, an extra sleeping bag and you want to put it somewhere, stick it there, take a bungee cord and bungee cord it right there. So the tarps, anything you have, anything you want, it's all right there. So this is probably one of the highlights of this van, besides it being all wheel drive, besides it being very, very cool, this is a great highlight. Now, we're gonna go back over here real quick. I'm gonna show you something. This is called a bat wing awning. So for time's sake, and so I don't look like an idiot, I'm not gonna pull it out, but Tim will show some pretty cool videos of how this thing comes out. So you unzip it, and this there's an awning that comes all the way out over here, and it secures itself there. So that way you have a second camping area. So you can be hanging out on this side of your van, hanging out, or you can be hanging out on the other side because there's a second awning. So I'm sure there's some pretty people on the screen right now showing you how to use this awning. Winnebago has some great pictures and videos. So this is a great feature as well as that. Um, they also give you this ladder so you can climb up top and check out the solar panels. You can see that there's, there is a place for storage up there. They, they do make some cool storage racks that you can put on top. So I would definitely recommend if you do want more storage to check that out. Um, so something else that's pretty unique, a lot of these vans have propane that's built into them. This one has propane tanks. So you say, man, this is annoying. I gotta unscrew it, grab it. No, all you do is go to a gas station, unscrew it, grab it for 20 bucks, you swap it out, put another one in, and you're a business. If you're going somewhere for two weeks and you know, man, there's not gonna be any propane where I'm going, grab an extra one and throw it in the back here. So you have an extra propane tank, two extra propane tanks, or you may never need it. So I, uh, I really like how they give you that flexibility as well. Then they give you another storage thing here. So they're, they're plugging storage in everywhere you can imagine. Big power awning comes out with lights, plugs, uh, HDMI plugs, 110 plugs, cable plugs, everything you need to camp and to hang out. This is really where you spend a lot of your time on the van. So I gotta admit, I, the, mo the more I walk around this, the more possibilities I see of how this can be a really cool van to camp in and to take anywhere, oh, one more, anywhere that I would wanna go. Um, I think that, oh, there you go, another storage. I think that the more you see other people, this is what's great about the Facebook groups and the YouTube channels that do this, you see how people use these, you really get a good idea of how you can use it. So that is the outside of the Echo. I'm about to take you on the inside and show you what Winnebago has done to really up their game when it comes to this Sprinter Echo. Okay, so now we are inside of the Sprinter Echo and you can really get a sense of how much space is here. So right now, these two seats are swiveled around to face the back. This is the Mercedes area here. So these seats swivel to face the back. We have the dinette here. So you can fit five people here very, very comfortably. So two there, one there, two here. You know, I have a family of six. I would probably be, be able to fit my entire family here um, in this, particular model, my family couldn't sleep. They do make a pop top that they could sleep in. So I could fit two or three kids in the pop top, one or two kids here, then me and my wife in the back, and we can fit all, you know, it says sleeping for five. I can probably squeeze a sixth in there. So, you know, I have four kids. So my, my daughter's 19, she's a sophomore in college. My son is 17, he's about to move out and go to college. It's gonna be a sad day in the Schmidt house when two kids are gone and we only have two kids at home. Uh, but we will adjust, we will adjust. Uh, but this will be a great, a great thing to take them all in. I mean, this this area here is great to sit in. Now, this is a Mercedes cab here. So you can see it has the 10 inch nav screen. It has all of the safety features, the push button start, adaptive cruise, say all the, the lane changing assist, blind spot, um, um, collision avoidance, like all of the safety features 
that you love from Mercedes. This thing has heated seats, power seats, all the stuff in the front. But I like how this swivels, this moves back and forth. So depending on what you do, if you're eating, if you're working, let's say you're working and you wanna work from right here, you can do this. There is a TV there uh, with a Bluetooth sound bar. Um, you can even be working from right here. You can be relaxing and reclining, you know, lots of cool features. Um, this area here, so if I move this out of the way, you can really get a sense. This area here also turns into a seat so you can drive in very easily. You move two things like this and like that. You lift this table here up like, I'm gonna have to show you my butt for a second, but you lift this table up here and this now turns into an area that you drive in. So I didn't really get there, there we go. So now you have a seat belt here and you have an area where you can work, you can watch, you have a real seat belt, you got big awning style windows. You can also work from here. Um, this, this obviously can be removed, this can be up, this can be down. So I really like how much flexibility they give you. This also sits right here and makes this into a twin size bed. So you can have a twin size bed here, you can have a little sofa, you can have a seat like that with a seat belt. You have your awning style window there, which is really nice. You can watch TV, you have family time up here. You know, I I, I tend to wake up a couple hours earlier than my wife. Um, she has gotten a lot more beauty sleep than I have. That's why she's beautiful and I'm not. Um, but whenever I get up, I tend to just kind of let her sleep. And I would come up here and I'd make my coffee and I would sit up here, read the newspaper. My kids make fun of me for reading the newspaper, but I'd read the newspaper, I'd drink coffee, I'd you know read my Bible, whatever it is I do in the morning, just sit up here kind of on my own and do my thing while she is still sleeping in the back. So I like how it does give you the two different living spaces. So lots of storage, and I like the color difference too. Um, you know, lots of storage there storage here you got little little cubbies and pockets up here cubbies and pockets here so look at that found another light lots of uh 110 plugs 110 plugs usb ports so this area is a phenomenal area with lots of flexibility and i bet you can feel that extra 18 inches in that area as well so as we're walking see this is like a cool green color i really like that um, as we're walking, you can see this is some of the uh, functions for the, the power system. Your different levels are here. Your power system is here. You can turn your generator on and off right there. You can also look at your levels. So you got your battery levels. You got your fresh water, your gray water level. You can turn your water pump on and off. It tells you your temperature. You can set it for the air conditioner. It also has a Xantrax inverter. It has tons of solar on the roof. So all of that's controlled here, but then you have storage here. What's nice, you see that little circle back there, that's a roof access port. So a lot of people are installing Wi-Fi routers, they're installing different things on their roofs, and then they give you just a little port. So you install the route, you install the antenna, you drop the wire down there, and now you have your Wi-Fi router up there so you can have Wi-Fi anywhere you're at. Um, nice big Norcold refrigerator. Sorry, I know I got you in a bad position here. <laughs> nice big Norcold fridge. There's a freezer. Look at that. Dang, this thing's cold too. So nice big fridge, nice big freezer, lots of space through here. So once you move into the galley area, you see you have a convection microwave, you have drawers, lighted drawers too, not just drawers, lighted drawers. Look at that, lights on the whole drawer, all these big, and then you have an induction stove here. So if you did want to use the induction stove, you pull this up, pull the stove out, plug it and use it. When you don't want to use it, you put it right back. You know what? Some people will never use it, so they'll just leave it at home. It doesn't have to come with you. Um, cabinet here, cabinet there. There's a water filter underneath there as well. I like how they give you a cover for the sink. You know, I, oh, look at that, that's pretty cool. Um, so nice, big, huge sink that you can actually put a pot in or a pan or plates. You know, you can keep plates in here. Um, you know, all of these sinks now are starting to do this, which is nice. But I like how you can be cleaning, cooking, preparing, but you can also have, when you're cooking here, all the smells go out the window. My wife is real big, like I like cooking bacon on Sunday mornings before church, and um, she doesn't like our house smelling all day Sunday. So I have to find a way to cook bacon without our house smelling. If anyone has any ideas, 
I'm totally up for it. But she's made me cook bacon on our back porch now. We have like a flat top thing. So I have to go outside and cook my breakfast, which you know isn't bad when the weather's nice. But when it's really hot outside, that kind of stinks. Um, I like, you know, they give you these shelves. You can put these shelves here. You can put the shelves there. Or if you don't want them, you can get rid of the shelves. You don't need them. So that's the nice flexibility of all of this as well. So as you can tell, lots of space, lots of headroom. There is a ducted air conditioner. So there are AC ducts throughout the entire coach. And the main AC is here. So if you want to, what they call, dump it, you just open it and it dumps. If not, it'll come out all of the ducts. So this whole video, I've been talking about the unique things about this, this Echo, right? It's a Sprinter, it's a little longer. It has, you know, lithium, it has a generator, it's all wheel drive, it has the bat wing, it has all this extra storage. This bathroom is probably one of the most unique things about it. So pretty cool bathroom, right? Lots of space, nice size. When you step in it like this, I can sit on the toilet here, I can handle business. I can be looking out, yelling at my kids as they're running around out there. I can, you know, just enjoy the fresh air. You know, fresh air is very nice when you're in the bathroom. So this is nice, right? Sink, mirror, all this stuff. But then when it comes time to use the, the shower, move this over like that. And now I have this huge shower. Totally separate. Oh, it has an AC vent in here too. Totally separate from the toilet, from the sink. This is all waterproof. This is all waterproof. I got a place for soap. I got a shower head. So I got a lot of space that I can fit in here for the shower, right? How cool is this? I need someone to tell me how cool this is. This is cool. This is very, very cool. So then when you're done, you open it back up and Shower's gone, now you're back in the, the bathroom. Toilet, sink, brush your teeth, wash your hands, whatever you do. So I love that flexibility. You know, the Road Trek Pivot has something like this, but this is a bigger version because obviously this is a little bigger than the Road Trek, but that is very unique and very cool. Um, now we are in the bedroom. So this bedroom has twin beds, they're 80 inches long, 80 inches. If my quick math tells me right, that's about six foot seven, six foot six and a half, something like that. So 80 inches long, which is nice, twin bed, so you can get in and out of bed. I fit in here very, very comfortably. You know, no matter how I lay, very comfortably I can fit. Nice, big awning style windows on both sides. Night screens, or there's a screen there to keep the bugs out. It's still kind of springtime, so there's no bugs yet, but nice, nice room here. Now this can be one big king size bed. So with this cushion right here, you just put it there, and now you got one big king size bed, which is nice. Um, they give you storage on both sides here. They give you your 110 plug there for your chargers, USB ports. There's a 110 plug over there, so you can mount a TV if you want. I don't have a TV in my bedroom right now, so I don't, you know, for me, I wouldn't do that, but a lot of people do have TVs in their bedroom. So you got drawers there, big cabinet for storage there, big old cabinet for, I mean, this thing goes way back. This is a big cabinet for storage there. Then you also have another really nice drawer here. So they give you storage, they give you steps to get into bed. I mean, this thing here, you can even get rid of it if you don't want it, but you know, I would like it like this. This is the way I would sleep. Twin beds like this. And then this will make it get easy to get in and out of bed. Nice windows, AC duct here, AC there. My wife would probably close hers all the way and bundle up. I'd probably have mine wide open and uh, not be bundled up would be my guess. Um, but I love how this is wide open like this. So at Sunshine State RVs, we deal in vans. You know, we are the van capital, the van epicenter of the entire world. And we are getting into these B pluses, small C's. And I think if you're looking for a class C, if you're traveling uh, with kids, if you're traveling with just two people, this is a this is a phenomenal option. If you're working remote, if you wanna see the country, if you wanna just go on weekend trips to national parks, to here or there, if you wanna go to camp, there's, there's not a lot of limits I would put on something like this. Um, I, uh, I think Winnebago has given 
you a great option for traveling. Driving in a Mercedes Sprinter is really comfortable. You know, using everything here, you see the functionality of it. I sit in everything, I open everything, I, I lay in everything. You see this, this, this can meet a lot of your needs, check a lot of your boxes that you're looking for. If you want something 24, six, 24 feet, six inches, which is what this is. So I'm a big fan of this. I think this is very unique. I think there needs to be more stuff like this on the market and there's just not. So Winnebago is gonna hit another home run with this one. This is phenomenal. But at Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, we will fly you for free to our dealership or we will deliver this for free anywhere in the country once you buy it. So we will send this right to your front door. We'll teach you how to use it over FaceTime, over Zoom, we give you tech support. We, we do all kinds of really cool stuff when you put your trust in us and you buy from us. So I wanna say thank you for watching this video and a few of the other ones that I've put out. And I think that if you're looking for something like this, this Echo is a great option. Thank you.